Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque. Then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's an Evoque 2.2 SD4 Dynamic four-wheel drive. It's a three-door, 2015 on a 64 plate. Has done 74,800 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 40.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 54.3 miles per gallon and combined is 48.7 miles per gallon. Top speed of 121 miles per hour out of 190 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 93 pounds 50 and 12 months is 170 pounds. Really nice spec on this car has the, the kind of black pack, the black grille, the black vents in the bonnet, um, Range Rover embossed, and also the, the black vents on the side wings. High pressure headlamp wash, Xenon headlamps, front parking sensors, the low front grille. We have the 20 inch split spoke alloy wheels. Like I said, the, the black side vents here. We've also got the um, the, the wing protectors, this finished in plastic there. Power folding door mirrors, again finished in black. The black roof, it's got the full pan roof as well, which is a fantastic extra. Tinted glass, rear privacy glass. Um, the sill protectors here, like I say, the sill protectors and the wheel arch protectors, um, pretty good. But to be fair, if you, if you catch that, you, you shouldn't be driving. Integrated rear tailgates, spoiler here um the rear wash wipe is tucked up underneath there which is a, a real good design again you've got the black finish on here the black letters the black light surrounds the boot does open from the key but you've got to lift it up yourself all my stuff in there the hard rear load cover there nice flat uh, load area, easy to load into and easy for a, for a pet to jump in. Reversing sensors there and the twin chrome exhaust tips. Um, I think the Range Rover Evoque is probably the best looking and best driving uh, SUV in its class, in, it, in its size. The, f the first time I've noticed this morning, I, I looked at it from inside and I thought, Wow, that rear window's so small. But to be fair, the mirror covers you, you can still see out, um, and you get used to it after about 20 seconds, so no, nothing to worry about. This is also a three-door as well, so it looks slightly more sporty. I like the three-door, and the three-door would be fine for me. I'll just take you for a ride. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure whether I should take you for a ride or, or tr try and get in the back seat. Um, Okay, so a little bit of an awkward process. The catch on the side of the seat, I still can't get in. Then there's an electric button which takes the seat forward. I suppose if uh, when you the, the memory seats don't work, oh yes they do. Okay, so what I'd do, the third position on the memory seats, I'd I'd put to that position so it goes right the way forward and then at least the one and two you can uh, get it straight back to where you would normally sit right I'll, so not the easiest to get into um, I'm not going to put the seat back otherwise I'll probably never get out seats are pretty comfortable just need to uh, put the headrest up there and then it's not in the middle of your back um, it's 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 nice it's, it's nice in the back makes it a lot better with a full pan roof you've also got this shade band there which will go forward if it's too hot for your kids or or your dog um, then you, you can put the 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 blind forward shade them it's it's really nice it's nice in the back seats are very comfortable there's actually there's the three yeah there's three rear seat belts there's the Isofix rear chassis tanker points, rear armrest with little 
uh, containers there. I, I do think they should align them. So if you put your phone in or anything, don't slide around every time you're flipping brake or anything. But yeah, it's, it's nice enough. Airbag in the B pillar here, airbag in the C pillar, uh, roof airbag there, and also in the A pillar. So Land Rover's really good, nice, safe environment. So yeah, that, that's it. It's nice enough in the back. I'll just take you for a ride now. So somebody's just got in the back um, and, and we now have to put this back. We can put that back lights on and wind it back with this or I can just press memory one, which is my position, and it'll go back to the, the exact position that uh, I was driving in before. So that's probably the, the best way to do it with... Uh... <laughs> that's the best way to do it with uh, if you've got a car with memory seats. Now, there's two car parks here. They're both empty, except for me. And then this other car's just pulled up and pulled up right next to me. It's uh, uh, Paddy's Law, I'm afraid. If you're still allowed to say Paddy's Law anymore, and that, that's not upsetting anybody. Um, key. There you go, there's the key. I've got uh, two of them. I'll just tell you the service history. So, service history. 9th of the 2nd, 2016 at 12,242 miles, Hunter's Land Rover Preston. 18th of the 1st, 2017 at 26,055 miles, Hunter's Land Rover Preston. 8th of the 1st, 2018 at 37,077 miles, Hunter's Land Rover Preston. 18th of the 1st, 2019 at 49,121 miles, John Handley Motors Limited. 31st of the 1st, 2020 at 60,081 miles, John Handley Motors Limited, including front brake pads. 4th of the 3rd, 2021 at 68,538 miles, John Handley Motors Limited, and that had rear discs and pads. And as I say, it's done 74,789 miles now, so not due for a service, but we will give it a, a pre-delivery uh, check over. Okay, so foot on the clutch key anywhere on your person it is keyless go and then just start the engine um, seat bolt on and before the things I've got to do before we set off so that's height and reach adjustable steering wheel we've got Bluetooth audio um, Power folding door mirrors. So we've got, if I turn the headlamps on and then squirt the screen, we've got high pressure headlamp wash too. And then uh, an electric handbrake. We were doing all right until then. And the, the full pan roof, I feel like I'm too high here. So I'll get that down a bit. we go manual gearbox let's say it's a three door I think it looks slightly better than the, the five doors and would be adequate for me and all my friends getting in and out but the, these Land Rovers are, are, are lovely um, I'm driving a Ford Mustang at the moment. I've always wanted one since I sneaked in the cinema to watch Bullet in 1968. Uh, uh, I've wanted one ever since. There's a couple of Mustangs that I think they lost their way a, a little bit, but now they're back and they're beautiful. They drive lovely. Um, however, I know what you're thinking. You're in a Range Rover Revoke. Why are you telling about us about a Mustang? Normally I drive a Range Rover Sport and uh, as soon as we sell the Mustang I'll, I'll go back to driving a Range Rover Sport unless we get another Mustang. And last night I was coming home and it was lashing down, it was like a monsoon. And 
whereas a jumping a, a Range Rover or one of these, and I'm just not bothered. It just don't. I, I, before I set off last night, I was thinking, yeah, sh should should I go home in the Mustang or, or should I go home in a Range Rover? And halfway home, I was sorry that I'd gone home in the Mustang because some of the roads were flooded, and I, you know, is it, I, I wouldn't give it a second thought. The the there was spray everywhere. Mm -hmm. The rain was coming down like nobody's business. You could hardly see anything. And in a, in a Range Rover, I, I drive along. It's, it can be throwing it down. I drive along, and I'm, I'm like that. Anything else? When you lower to the ground with a spray, you, you you kind of lean forward, and you more <laughs> you're concentrating more. And it's not as relaxing. These they're just they are just lovely. They, they drive better, they're not as bouncy and harsh as a BMW. Um, they, they just, Land Rovers get four wheel drives absolutely perfect. They do what they're supposed to do. They're not for racing round in with hard suspension and taking corners um, flat out. They're for driving on roads like this and, and making sure that your family's safe Moby, and uh, and just you know, just enjoying life really. They take all the bumps in the stride, any puddles. This is well equipped too. So the the main thing I like is is the pan roof. Um, I think it changes the interior of the car completely. It's a nice gearbox. I wouldn't say it's an over light clutch, but it's fairly light, it's just about right, I suppose. It's, it's kind of light on the heavy side, if that makes any sense. Gear change is precise. We've got front electric windows here. We've got all the other things that I like. You've got the heated uh, heated rear seat, heated front seat, three position. If you can stand it on three on position three, then you're better than I am because it, it's like um, position one is too hot, <laughs> position two is unbearable, and position three is like a, a branding iron, but does the job. Um, I was driving up here this morning. I was I was. I was fine and then I noticed I'd, I'd got the air con on turned right the way down and it was a quite a cold morning again it was lashing down when I set off up the motorway and it just doesn't bother you you're above the spray you know that if anybody does run into you you've got a, a good chance of being okay with all these airbags here as, I, as I've said before you've got more chance of suffocating than you have been of being like crushed or, or injured in the accident um, just a lovely design I, I think it's it's a, a pretty car really for for being an SUV and I, I look at these next to BMs Audis and, and Porsches even and you know they, they've got like the, the rounded off front and just these these just look like they should do to me. You can see over the hedges, the 20 inch wheels aren't too big so you don't get some of the issues you do with the really big wheels like tramp lining and a, a harsh ride. The, the side walls of the tyres still have a bit of flexibility in them. Nice big door mirrors, you see everything behind you. Gosh, I'm, I'm going 
gonna have to turn that off. That's that's nuclear, honestly. But yeah, we. This one obviously doesn't know that the the peasant the pheasant crossing is round the corner, just here. Now they're usually just round this blind bend. <laughs> I don't suppose they've got many like uh, nice options. I don't think the bacon butter man's going to be up here. Nice, nice and well padded. The front armrest there, and in there you've got USB. I think you've got auxiliary in, and you've also got a power socket. You've got a sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, oh, which leads me on to the Meridian speakers. Um, I've probably got no signal here, but if I, I'll turn it down. Turn it down so it doesn't blast on. Hey Siri. Play Spirit in the Sky. Okay, turn it down again. Makes me want to drive too fast as well. There we go. L lovely car to drive. I think it's Ferenz red metallic with black leather. Contrast stitched with ivory. Probably not the best place to stop there, I've got to say. Is she okay? Just make sure she's all right. Yeah, yeah, taking a photo. I thought stopping there, they might have broken down. I'd have to get my utility belt out and help them. Heated front screen as well. Absolute godsend heated front screen. Should be standard on all cars. Rear seats fold down, 60-40. Yep. Coming round a blind bend in the middle of the road. Not the best idea. The terrain response here. Let's see, that's stop start, so we'll knock that off. Climate control, your heated seats are on the right hand side here. We've got cruise control, Land Rover, easy to use, everything's easy to use. The one touch cruise control. I won't set it just as we're going around the corner. I'll just get down a bit in gears. The cruise control there, one touch and that's it on. You can increase the speed here, plus and minus, and then cancel is just at the back here. That's your radio controls, your telephone controls here, answer and hang up. And also you've got voice, uh, voice activation here. I don't have much luck with voice act activation. It doesn't seem to uh, recognize my accent. Although I don't think I've got one. The voice activation does. <laughs> indicators on the left, wipers on the right. And the end of the indicator stalk. 
if you click that it's showing me how I'm driving at the moment and it's all green it's all good brakes and accelerating and speed um, it's all it's happy with me all green fuel gauge in the center you've got your your information display on the left hand side speedo right hand side rev counter in your information display there like I say it's telling me how I'm driving on the left there you've got your coolant temperature on the right you've got the fuel gauge and if I just click in the end here the bottom changes and it's showing me average miles per hour click it again that's showing me the date and the mileage of the car click it again trip counter done 47 and a half miles this morning testing this car um, average miles per hour again a pheasant average miles per gallon instantaneous miles per gallon or fuel readout and distance to empty which is 60 miles actually did I, did I say that was at the bottom there that's the digital speedo didn't I, I might have said it was average miles per hour but the big display is um, your digital speedo which I, I've got to say you know when you're in a 30 mile an hour limit that's the first thing I look for on a car a digital speed out where the, there's no ambiguity it's it's your 30 miles an hour not perhaps just above 30 miles an hour or um, you know it's it's better not to take any chances and this little switchback humpback bridge here and two very brave hikers because the skies before were black I was, I was probably rushing a bit when I was doing the video because the, the sky was black and it's been lashing down this morning even though the weather forecast was sunny So it's a nice car all round, uh, bits of silver here and there, but with, with kind of the black pack on and the friends red and the black roof. Looks, looks really good. There's a, there's a, there's a BM something or other behind and um, I do think Land Rovers have got it right, although there's, there is a corporate image. You know, sometimes when a car comes on the forecourt and it's, it's a BMW, somebody's coming to have it valued, I can't tell whether it's an X1, an X2, an X3, an X5, an X6 from the front, X7, they just all look the same. same. They, in, in fact, I think it was Johnny Smith. I was watching a video by Johnny Smith and he had one of those Russian dolls and you, you take it out and there's a smaller one inside that that's that is that, it might have been his analogy I might have just nicked that off it off him but I, at least you know the Evoque you can tell it's a Range Rover or Land Rover but it doesn't look exactly the same and believe me that that chap in front you, well you, you can see we're kind of taking it in our stride and he's bouncing on every bump Lovely car. And there's a the sat nav. Telephone. Your audio. No, no, you're you you no you're welcome. No, no, no. No need to thank me. You're okay. And here we go. You know, stuff like this. In in the 
in the in the Mustang, I'd be tempted not to do that. Uh, but uh, see, a proper guy, proper guy. Thank you. Proper guy, proper car. Just right for the conditions in the country, in Britain. All the water splashes. I'm, I'm assuming this car has been has belonged to a lady. Or you, it's um, the 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 seat belt is lovely perfume. Smells nice and looks nice too. All right, so I'll, I'll finish the test drive there. And uh, just get out of these people's way. <clears throat> yeah, lovely car. Um, got all the stuff on I, that, that I like, the, the pan roof and the, the Meridian speakers. And uh, drives great too. Great service history. So, uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.